This is Pod. It lets you really get to know your pet. You attach it to their collar and track them on your phone or computer. It works for all pets. Really, all pets. Pod helps you when your escape artist runs away. So you can locate them anytime, anywhere. There's also a safe zone feature. So when your furry friend escapes, you get an alert on your phone. Have you ever wondered what your pet gets up to when you're not around? Well, now you can follow their adventures to see exactly where they've been. You can even monitor their activity levels to make sure they're getting enough exercise. Never lose your pet again with Pod. This is a PetQ camera. To understand what it is, you have to meet Jenny. Say hi, Jenny. She reads a lot, she runs every morning, and tries to practice banjo lele daily. Jenny has a dog, and a cat, and another cat. This is what she used to do before PetQ. Exercise cat, trampoline with dog, ask Mrs. Robinson to kitty sit. Leave home, use cheap spy cam, see dog eat shoes, come back. Try to work from home, fail. Start all over again. And then, Jenny got a pet cube camera. Oh yeah, he heard that. With a pet cube camera hooked up, Jenny exercises her pet while having a lunch break with an exciting laser pointer catch game. Jenny shares access to her pet cube camera with friends and family. Her niece, Becky, is eight, and she can do this for hours. And so does Chris and Rachel. And with the new pet cube mobile app, there's a new special place for all Jenny's funny pet pictures and videos. Now you've met Jenny. She loves her pets. And pet cube helps her stay closer to her furry loved ones. Dom from Pack Leader Dog Adventures. We're going to show you a little video now um, all about our rough wear backpacks that we stock. We're going to show you first of all how to measure your dog up for a backpack and then go through how we, we like to introduce the dog to the backpack 
so that they find it really comfortable to wear and well we never have any problems so uh, yeah hopefully you'll learn something from this so first of all we need to measure up to get the right size this is really easy we just need a, a tailor's tape or you can use a bit of string and um, then you can measure the string up later on so we'll measure Lily around the widest part of her rib cage. that's what we're looking at and we can see that she's around 27 inches so if we check the size and guide we can see exactly that uh, what size we need we've measured Lily up already so we know that Lily is a small the pack that we're going to work with first is this approach pack this is Roughwares, they market it as their everyday backpack and this is the earlier version of this we've been using for two or three years with the Barry, our dog to Bordeaux and some of the other members of the pack as well. Um, we find a really good uh, durable pack, um, the dogs find it very very comfortable and uh, yeah yeah we, we really really like it. We don't just want to stick it straight on the dog, we want to let them have a sniff of it, have a smell of it same as we would if we were introducing them to anything new and uh, really take our time with it use some treats so it's a nice pleasurable experience for them we're going to use some uh, Pooch's Shake and Treat today with this this is uh, slow roasted beef Ooh, and it's very tasty isn't it Lily? so we've got that we've got our pack um, we're going to get Lily Lily's just interested in the treats which is good so hopefully she won't even notice that she's getting measured up for a backpack yeah it's nice isn't it? clever girl, very good girl there we go, over the head. That was clever girl, wasn't it? You can have a piece of treat for that. Clever girl. And then back off again. That's a good girl. And the same thing again. Using the treats, you know, if there's two or three members of your family, you can all help do this. Just take your time. That's nice, isn't that lovely? Lots of affection for Lily, because she's been a very good girl take this back off again. That's a good girl. So we can take it a step further now. She doesn't really have any problems with this. Her leg goes in here. And the pack has two clips. What's this? Take that one down. One there. And one here. And we can see that that's a really nice fit for Lil. The approach pack is, uh, it sits on a Roughwear Webmaster harness. So this is really secure. Um, it distributes the weight really, really well. Eventually when your dog's used to it enough and you're ready to put stuff in the pack, as long as you have uh, the same amount of stuff on either side, then uh, it, it distributes the weight really, really well and it makes it really, really comfortable for the dogs. that don't you Lily you like that yes uh, but first of all we don't want to put, put any stuff in the pack we just want to be trying the dog on the pack making a big fuss of the dog making it a pleasurable experience for the dog to be wearing the pack so that they're, they're really really enjoying it it's not stressing her out Lily's really really happy that we can see that she is a tails wagging she's looking at me for more treats aren't you Lily so that's great and then um, so then we can uh, uh, advance once our dog's used to wearing it in the house we can advance to uh, taking her out for a walk with it on. Again, empty, empty all the time at first until she's really, really comfortable with it. And then, uh, and then we can start adding a little bit of weight to either side. This is gonna make the walk a bit more challenging for the dog, um, but obviously because it's a, a bigger weight, it also gives them something else to think about, I find, um, because the, with the pack on their back, this helped us a lot when we first got Barry. Um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll take Lily for a little walk now and see how we get on. So Lily's here, we saw Lily getting loaded up with her pack before we left, because this is one of Lily's first walks, we're not going to carry a lot with us, we want to keep it nice and light so that she enjoys carrying it. We've just got her treats, a ball, which always goes down well with the cockers, and on the other side we've got um, a couple of target cones for us to practice our sendaways when we get to the park. 
So we, I would walk to the park with your dog, take the pack off them, let them have a run around, let them have a play, and then um, just take it back on them to walk back home again. And they, you know, they're gonna get nicely used to the pack gradually over time, with no stress. And uh, yeah, it'll be very enjoyable for them. And it'll tie them out a little bit quicker too. Clever ducks, clever ducks. Right, Barry's wearing the Roughwear Palisades backpack. This is the biggest pack that they do. It has lots of space it's for sort of real adventure dogs who are maybe going to be going camping or whatever with their owners. So it's got a lot of pockets and it's, a, it's a, for bigger dogs as well, I would say, this one. Um, but a, a, a lovely pack. Barry looks really good in it. Um, again, this is on the Webmaster harness. So this pack does remove and you can just use it as a harness if you wish to. Sid's wearing the single track pack. This has uh, two water bottles in as well, as does Barry's. It's quite a slim line pack, so good for the smaller dogs, I think. Uh, but it just kind of holds the water, it doesn't have a lot of space. Uh, but it's a, again, it's a really, really nice pack, so it looks good in it as well, as you can see. Uh, we've got the water here. So there's only really enough room for the, uh, your water bottles and maybe a, a very small bowl to go in this one. So this is just if you were going out with your dog, maybe for a run or for a long walk, you need to take some hydration, that would be a good pack for that I would think. 